Boy, oh boy, do I have a Fendi unboxing for you. Stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage, where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. This video, I have to mention a few people here, is in collaboration with Mary of Lumi Level Up. She invited me to do this because I shared this purchase with her because this purchase was inspired quite directly by one of her purchases. If you're familiar with her channel, you might have an idea based on her channel and the size of this box, what I picked up from Fendi. And this is a pre-loved item. I also though cannot lay all the blame on Mary because anytime I purchase anything Fendi, I must blame it entirely on Dale of Dale's Addiction. Every one of my Fendi purchases is her fault directly. If you're not familiar with Dale, she loves Fendi. She has a lot of Fendi videos and a really, really beautiful collection. So please make sure you go over and subscribe to her channel and to Mary's channel. Mary is wonderful. She's gonna be showing the bag that she has that's like mine but different. And I believe she'll be talking about how it's held up so far for her and what she thinks of it so far. And she's had hers for at least a few months. Mary is fantastic. I love her. She's in Germany. I want to go to Germany. And when I finally eventually do go to Germany, I would like to go visit her. I'm not sure she knows that. Now she does. She's very sweet, very intelligent, very knowledgeable on these luxury items, and she has fabulous taste. I will also mention Fuchsia Floyd. She's pretty new to YouTube. She's been doing it for a few months, and she has been picking up some Fendi items as well. So if you are into Fendi, all three of these people are fabulous to go check out, and I will have all of their channels linked below. Now let's get to this unboxing. As I said, this is a pre-loved bag, and I, I hadn't really been searching for it, though I had looked a few times after I saw Mary's video. And it's not, it's not impossible to find, but it's not something that's readily available either. It's probably gonna take you a little searching if you decide to search for it. I tend to check the Real Real and Fashion File every day, and this one popped up on the Real Real. Here's my little paperwork. Open the box, and apparently I ordered the gift wrapping for it because it came in this fabulous The Real Real box. These are not magnetic, they have a little flap here. And, ah, uh, yes, I wanted to make sure we didn't ruin any surprises. It's wrapped up in real, real tissue paper. This tissue paper is fun because it has a lot of luxury items on it. Somewhere deep inside the tissue paper, oh, is the bag. And if I show you, I'll give you just a peek. It's in a real, real dust bag, but you can see right through it to see the bag. So let's figure out how I can do this without spoiling any surprises too much. Hmm, I think perhaps I shall do it this way. I'm gonna pull the bag out of the dust bag from behind the box. Here's a little bit of the dust bag, and here we go. It's still a bit folded from being in the box, but this is the bag. It is the Fendi Spalmati, Spalmati, I'm not sure, I will spell it for you on the screen. There's the base tote bag. Mine has a black background, which was my preference. Mary's has a white background. Here you can see the pattern a little bit closer. I don't think I have any Fendi bags yet that have the FF design on them, and I just thought this was so cool and playful and fun when I saw Mary's bag, when I saw it pop up on the Real Real, and it was, Pretty inexpensive, I think it was around $500. I think you can tell the stitching, the thread is rainbow. It fades from one color to another. I thought that was a pretty cool detail as well. And inside we have a zipper. It has this leather bit. It's two little pieces of leather on the zipper pull. And then this metal piece has the little FF. And when we unzip that and open it up, it reveals a very bright pink, fuchsia pink for fuchsia Floyd, fabric interior. Mine does have a little bit of a musty odor. I'm sure my charcoal packs will take care of that. And I think you can see it has the FF logo 
inside on all that fabric. Very nice. On mine, I'm not sure if this is coming across on camera, there's some dirt around here. I think I'll be able to clean that off with a wet wipe or a rag with a little soap and water maybe. And then it has this metal Fendi plaque on top of leather with the rainbow stitching. And on either side of the interior of the bag, right here and right here, there are little slip pockets. And I like this detail. On the end of the zipper, on the inside, there's a snap so you can attach it to the bag. You know how that can be really annoying sometimes when you're trying to do the zipper and you have to hold it in place. So this should help, maybe, maybe not. Try unzipping it. Okay, it's a little difficult to get started, but maybe when it's closed, instead of having that little thing flapping around, you can snap it in place and it just looks a little tidier. I'm gonna grab a Neverfull to do a little size comparison for you. Here's the Fendi Spelmati tote. Here's the Neverfull MM from Louis Vuitton. It looks like the Neverfull is slightly taller, maybe about a half an inch. The straps on the Fendi are a little longer, maybe an inch or an inch and a half in strap drop. The bags seem to be the same length on the top when smashed together, but when we compare the bottoms, it looks like the Vuitton is a little wider, but the Fendi is a little longer. Both have thin shoulder straps. The Abend straps are certainly more sturdy and might dig into your shoulder a little more. These are softer. Since the sizes are so similar, they'd probably hold about the same. Now I just put a few items in here just to fill it out and I'll show you how it looks on my shoulder. Here's the drop, it fits over very comfortably. Let's see if I can do that with one arm. I can, but it hits my elbow just like the Neverfull does. It doesn't feel like these straps would fall off. You know how sometimes when you have two straps, one tends to fall off? I tend to tuck the outer one under the inner one, and that helps a lot. There we go, I like it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? I've told you guys I want to add more bags to my collection this year that aren't brown, that are more colorful, and this certainly fits that bill. I also thought this would be super versatile because it has so many colors you can wear it with a lot of different things. I'd probably wear it with solids and maybe some prints like you could do stripes or polka dots or something. I don't think I'd pair it with florals myself, but this has every color on the rainbow and a few different shades of each of those. So it's a really fun way to add some color and interest and luxury to an outfit. Looking at it closer, I am seeing some pretty significant corner wear. And as I'm looking at the corners more closely, it's not just fading. The material is actually worn through the top layer is gone. That's not good. You can see it there and there, definitely on that corner and on that corner. So somebody really loved this bag before I did. Um, that does bother me some. So I don't know, I'm gonna think about that because I really like the bag and it's a little bit difficult to find. And I got it for a great price, that's probably why. By the way, this canvas is much more smushy than my Ben is. It's more like a coated canvas from Vuitton that's well-loved, well-used, maybe because this one obviously is well-loved, well-used. It's a very cool, very fun bag. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please go down and check out the links for Mary of Lumi Level Up, Dale of Dale's Addiction, her addiction is contagious, and for Fuchsia Floyd. Thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you by next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.